Welcome back. We're chasing after this guy over here or the one over there. I think it's the one over there because we're after some merchant who knows something about how to get into the, the Gerudo town. And I don't think it's her there. I think it's this guy here. So it's just like, he's running off. We were, we were told about this guy from a merchant nearby, apparently. Apparently. So it's just a case of, is it this guy or is it just someone else we're chasing down? I don't want to miss this opportunity, so let's get him. Is it you? Mm. That old divine beast makes the road between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town a dangerous place. But I'm too keen on getting to know these Gerudo ladies to let that stop me. I dash right on through the desert. The Emporium is open. Come on, come on, come all. All the little bits and bobs you need to spice up your dishes. Yep, she's she's mid-run right there. What do you got? Oh. This is all I've got at the moment. Okay. Well, that could... What? Goodbye. Ah. Please visit again. So I'm assuming... You? Oh. Okay, it's a bow. Uh, you can handle this. Deep breaths, Kyra. Remember your training. First... You greet the foe like anyone else. Savak. Nice to meet you. I'm Kara from the, the, the from the Gerudo. I'm hunting the world, learning what I can and seeking my dreams. I, I can tell just from looking at you. You have a place in my dreams, don't you? Did we meet for a reason? You're my dream girl. Just taking a walk. Uh? Oh, is that how you're going to be? Uh, no, I can stop wasting my time with you. Okay. Try again then. Aww. You again? I'm on a personal journey. Blah 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 blah. You're my dream girl. Hmm. My Vaba was right about you, though. Dream girl. I don't have time to waste on you. Get out of here. Do I just kill you and take your clothes or something? It's like you're chasing him down. So it's like surely he's the guy. They just slow him down so she catches up. Like, what happens then? No? Huh. Well, this is most confusing. It's like, what now? Is that a watermelon? Watermelon. Oh, hello. What's a hydromelon? Let's, let's teleport back there. Yeah, so it's just sort of like that. That could have been the guy we needed. I just, I just didn't know. It's just like we'll best start the part there, just, just to be sure. It's a bit of fun along the way, that sort of thing. Ancient furnaces. I wonder what they are. I've never seen them before. Forget them. We don't need them. Okay, so was that? Did it start the running again? Yeah, the man who infiltrated Guru to town is frequently traveling between Karakara and Bazin. Uh -huh. It's gotta be him. Okay, what's going on here? That guy's running off too. Hello? Wow, don't tell me you crossed the Guru to desert on foot. Came here on foot. It's been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sink into the sand. It's common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. What? My name is Freddy. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> if you need anything about sand? If you need to know anything about sand seals, I should be your first stop. Can I have a sand seal? Uh, how do I ride one? Steering a sand seal is really easy. They'll go in whatever direction you want, but you need a shield to sand seal surf, so you don't forget about that. Okay. Pretty much the same then, as a horse. You know, the best way for you to learn is just by doing. Okay. <laughs> sand seals are especially sensitive to the sounds around them, the trick is to approach. It's like a horse. Pretty much the same, isn't it? Crouch, yep. So yeah, same as capturing a horse. Yep, okay. Let's get one of these lovely little sand seals. Come on now, very quiet. Don't mind me, I'm just 
Coming up close to you. It's just lovely. Oh, come on. It's like, I, I can't be making less noise. I mean, I could. It's just on its belly. Well, it's not. You know what I mean. It's on its back, so it's showing its belly. It's just like, come on. Slowly. Do I want to go from the side or from the... Ah, oh, come on, don't, don't do that. Well, there we go then. This is cute. Right, so the question is, where are we going now? Because I know I saw a guy around. This is pretty cool. That's a sound seal. Right, I'm looking for a guy that travels between the two places. Someone we haven't spoken to yet. This is pretty cool. I like this. Could be you, but I think we spoke to you before. So it's not you. Who could it be? Do, 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 do. What the hell are they? Uh -uh. I think it's a sense it was just going to be everywhere now, because it's sort of like... Sure, there are a means to get around faster, but it's like... I can't actually... Get one at this town, what's the point? You stay there! No, don't disappear! Uh. Maybe it's him. Hmm... Oh boss, I get the feeling that he isn't coming back from Garuda Town anytime soon, I hope he's okay. A man stuck in? Well, there's a man who got into Gerudo Town, and the boss says he comes here to Karakara Bazaar. Guess it must be true if the boss said so. Aww. But I've never seen anyone around here who strikes me as a super sneaky guy. There's that pretty Hillian gal at the general store. It's unusual to see a Hillian girl dressed like a Gerudo. The Gerudo clothes. I wonder where she bought them. Maybe if I wore those clothes... Nah, I, I, I'm so out of my element with all this sneaky stuff. That's clearly the answer. Cloaks. Question is, where do we get the cloaks? So you want a Hillian girl? I don't think it's you, is it? No, because you're, you're not Hillian. Gotta go. Okay, so are you Hillian? Look, Hillian. Which one's the Hillian one? I mean, you all look tall, so... And this is a very, very tall Hillian. Don't know what's going on there. Hmm. It's gotta be inside here, then. That doggy again! Lovely doggy. Yee! Such a good doggy. In here? Again, all tall. Hmm. Scimitar again. So where, oh where is this Hillian girl? She definitely said there was a Hillian girl at a general store. I'll speak to you because I feel like you're important. Ew. Good evening. Oh, I guess it's Sava Saab and Gerudo, isn't it? Before I say any more, have we met before? Came here from Rito Village. Rito? Oh. Yes, yeah, Rito Village. Far to the north of here is. A modest village on the Tab Tabantha frontier. A great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day, it's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. They don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. Good insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of Gerudo Highlands, but... Uh. Oh, the monsters there are rough, to say the least. So I'm not having a lot of success. Get myself motivated. Yes, indeed. An ice guy! Oh my. So where... I mean, are you hitting in? I mean, maybe you're a bit shorter than the rest, actually. Mm. So it's the height that gives it away for me. What's the matter? Just look in your face like almost screams, I gotta talk to you right now, suspicious vendors. Mm. Suspicious merchant, huh? 
my point of view, pretty much any merchant that isn't Gerudo looks suspicious, you realize. Still, yeah, I can think of someone. One Vi merchant in full Gerudo garb. She frequents the general store a lot. I'm sure there must be more to her story, but what do I know? Plus, I'm not going to poke my nose into another's business. So she frequents the general store, like she's not the owner of the general store. Okay, so that makes things different. Like, what is the general store, though? Is this the general store? I don't know if they've seen a suspicious looking male merchant. Suspicious, huh? Well, I, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I spend all my time right here. And I don't know how I'd tell if someone was a merchant. Anyway, there are any merchants here, too. And you guys one of them. Alright, then. My little sister runs a butcher shop over in Gerudo Town. She traveled all over and she knows your language pretty well. You should stop by and. Oh, of course, you're a Vo, so. We're going to get past the front gates. Huh? What? Okay, so. We are just. There's a rock up there that I can climb? I just realized this. So we're just waiting for someone to appear then. Is that what, what it is? Could be the case. Nice little area, isn't it? Oh, hello. You seem shorter. Mm. Oh, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm. What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Mm. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. Squint suspiciously. Mm. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. Very beautiful. Oh. That was such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now I think about it, the star would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course. But I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. Yes, I bet they would. I mean, you should shave, really, to be honest. Uh-oh. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? I'll take them. Mm. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. Oh. I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. It's quite extravagant, isn't it? Whoa! Is that what you said? Whoa! You look adorable! Mm. <laughs> Just as I thought. You make for quite a good looking gal. That's your tradition Gerudo outfit. Traditional Gerudo outfit. Such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, breathe so well that I'm sure it'll help you deal with the desert heat at least a little. Mm. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. Oh. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Huh. Make sure you watch out for the wind. Oh. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. I mean, sure, why not? Oh. The giant monster cloaked in the sandstorm. If I recall correctly, it's called a divine beast. I hear it started wandering the Gerudo several desert several weeks ago. I don't know what it is exactly. Apparently the chief of Gerudo town is having a lot of trouble figuring out how to handle the situation. One thing's for sure, they'd be helpless if the divine beast headed for the town. Mm. That being said, you look adorable. Those clothes, anyone around might think you're a nice girl. Yeah, lovely. Right, so now let's head on inside then. We got our lovely fetching clothes, didn't we? I wonder if it is quicker to just run there. Or get one of the, um... I forgot what they're called now. The things that bounce around in the, in the sand. You know the things. I've already been on one. It was fun. Alright, so we need to do our traditional shrine, though. In this part. I'm actually going to fly up in there. I just want to see what happens now. Ooh, that does look very impressive, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. I like the water streaming over the top of the buildings. It's 
very, very cool. Isn't that a guy? No, no. Just from that angle, it looked like a guy. Riju, Gerudo Chief. So much for my height theory. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Beluria. I don't know. This one appears to be more than a common traveller. You are... what is your name? Oh. Link. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm Naboris or Naboris, whatever you want to call it. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could control them were champions like Lady Urbosa. Ur Urbosa? And all the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. Bel Beleria, Belaria. That memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Prince of... Of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories not also say that the Hinlian champion carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed. If I recall correctly, it was called the Sword that Seals the Darkness. The Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the middle of a deep forest. Ah, uh, I know where I'm going next. Hmm. What of the device on this person's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. Can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Hmm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hillian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment, you're a vow! A foe within our walls is a great crime, but a foe who is a champion. Oh, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Obosa. And if you're here to help with us, with Naboris, uh, then we are allies. Huh? Start on your way to, into town. Divine Vies, Van Nab Naboris, Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at anyone who dare approach. Hmm. You have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Mm. Did you? I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were to prove his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Mm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunder Helm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Beleria says, Belaria, something, uh, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch, it will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Deek and ask for a full report. Hmm. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Obosa must be looking out for us. Alright then, what's this thing? What is that? Feels like that's important. Like it's like something under a piece of cloth. I don't know, very, very strange. Very, very strange. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks of the chief's guards. Not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after recent theft, so you should clear out. Blah 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 blah. Oh, Beleria sent you. 
Oh. My apologies, I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves. Dear God, I got the fright of my life then. It's like, it looked like there was a rat crawling across the floor, like beneath my feet. But no, it's just my nipkid and plushie falling off the little, like, little bits below my desk. So it just, this sort of like pinkishy blob shape was it below me. Oh dear God. My heart is racing now. Like, thank you very much, Nepgidem. That's what we were saying. That you... Whew. Whew. Anyway, it's just like, what the hell is that? Right, Chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day. So everyone is on edge. Mm. We're determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Hey everyone, listen up. The Skillian Vi has agreed to help us. Yeah, so offer her any information you can. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Okay, so, uh, don't really have any questions. So let's get out of my way! So, question is, where are we going? All the way up there. Well, it's a good job. Yeah, it is that. Right, I was just making sure, like, wait, is that where I'm going to be going? So we can go to the tower now. Just very, very quick as a result of doing that. With my, my exploring when the graphics card was kaput. It's quite annoying, that was quite annoying, as you can imagine. As you can imagine. Very snowy, this area, by the way. I can speak to you now, because I was wondering about you, and I thought we would be here at some point. Oh. What if? No, but then... Oh. Hmm? Mm. Oh, forgive me, I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. Let's move this around a little bit. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity 100 years ago. Mm. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned, but my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Seems I've prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Without further ado. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Here's heaven's light to reveal the prize. Okay. Is that it? Oh. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Mr. Luck and may the light illuminate your path. Sign of the Shadow. Okay. Interested by that, to be honest. So. Light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Here's heaven's light to reveal the prize. So. We need the sun to be in the sky, in the northwest skies. And from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So. I'm assuming it has to be day. It's a lovely piece of music, that. So let's actually look into that. Let's just see here. Let's, um... I'll not waste stuff this time with the whole, like, creating... A campsite. It's like, I like to do it because then it likes a big explosion and there's stuff going on and stuff like that. But I don't, I know I don't need to, but it's just like, fine. There you go. Take that arrow. Alright, so morning. Let's see if that's right. It's five in the morning. Right, so, that's north. That's west. So it needs to be over there, so it's like... Wrong time of day, really, isn't it? We need the, we need the evening. Um, let's see here. I haven't got any. Uh, I only had some kind of sword that allowed me to like, do that. Uh, probably a waste. Right, so night is not what I want.
Right, so... The sun is going to be over there. And from the shadow... That's the bit that gets me with that. So it's like, where, where is, where's the, where's the quest, where's the quest? As the light shines from the northwest skies, which, oh, which is over behind us, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. This heaven's light to reveal the prize. It's the heaven's light that gets me, it's like, tower's shadow. I'm not sure. It's like, I think I'll come back here at a later date. I think that'd probably be wiser, wouldn't it? Because it's, like it's going to take a while for the sun to get to the right point in the sky. So let's go back to the Divine Beast one. And let's use... That to head on up. Let's get around nice and quickly. I also have previously found this little cave little thing over here. Because it's like, as you saw, it's like the draw distance on the rocks makes it obvious there was something there. So I've been inside there, in case you're wondering. <whistles> Worth a try. Worth a try. It's like, I would have liked some more Revali's Gale, to be honest, but... Let's actually change our weapon, though, because I don't want to waste that. So we'll change over the broadsword. The problem is like we're trying to get there as quickly as possible now, and I can't do it without Rivali's Gale to get me like flying in the sky. The question is like, where, where, where? We are heading to the right location then at least. This place over here was well, not actually a place. It looked like there was some kind of building coming into the distance, but nope, nothing. I would really love some more Rivali's Gale. I really would. If it's meant to be in the valley, she meets down here then. Ah! That's cool. There we go. This is where we're meant to be. Ew. Duplex blow. Blow? Where did I get blow from? No idea. Um, let's see here. That's wrong. Inventory. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, we'll drop that. So what am I meant to do in here? So I'm clearly meant to do something. There you go. It's like it's like clearly meant to do something. So it's that that just got in it. I hear there's enemies around, don't worry. Oh! So I just had to find the right one. Oh, not, not burn them on, but I'm gonna burn them on anyway. Because, you know what? I'm a vandal. May as well destroy everything. Burn it, burn it all. I didn't. Leave me alone! Lovely. Q. Oh, there's several locations to go. Okay. Well, that was rubbish. <laughs> You're right in there. Like, there's nothing in here, but maybe there is in some of the others because I saw this one had boxes. Well, that's annoying. Ooh. Another torch. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Worth try. I mean, worth try. I did get what I wanted. I don't know why I said that. That's strange. A rupee! 50. Yeah. Keep trying to get these torches. I think that's it, maybe? Hmm. Oh, no. Oh no, we we're missing one. I don't want to waste this opportunity to get this chest pot. Yeah! Ooh, some ambers. Lovely. Yep. A stuff here. We haven't done a shrine in this part, have we? I just realised. Or have we? 
and I've completely forgotten. Entirely possible. Let's go up here at least. We want to see what we're getting into. Try and find these thieves. Oh. This is interesting, isn't it? Right. What's going on here? Hmm. Why do they seem to be glowing? We'll have the bananas smash the pots. Speak to you first. Hey, what are you doing there? This is the hideout of those eager thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. They spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. Mm. We had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. Never see them do his patrol and eat bananas. Haven't seen anything else that could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of the rest myself. Right, so I think we're going to end this part here. But what we'll do is actually let's put this stuff on because that increases our stealth and stuff like that, doesn't it? So and like, and we'll put bananas around and stuff like that, really distract them. Right, so that's us done for this part. In the next part, we're going to be all sneaky sneaky. So, see you then. Ta-ta. For now.